Hi honey. Hi Rodney. I tell you I get no respect. I looked up my family tree. Turns out I'm the sap. Well you're not the only one with problems. Now take my wife. Please. My wife wanted to have sex in the car. That's great. You kidding? She wanted me to drive. I've been married a long time. I have been in love with the same woman for 30 years. If my wife finds out she will kill me. I have almost no sex life. My wife cut me back to once per month. That's terrible. That's not so bad. Two guys she cut out completely. My wife drove the car into the dining room. I asked her how she did that. She said she took a left at the kitchen. My wife complains I am no good in bed. Maybe she's right. The other day I caught a peeping Tom booing me. My wife complains that she doesn't have modern appliances. Other wives have electric dishwasher, electric can opener, electric disposal. So what did you do? I bought her an electric chair. So how's your health? I told the doctor I had a ringing in my ear. He said don't answer it. My doctor told me I was very sick. So I said I wanted another opinion. He said I was ugly too. I asked my doctor, how do I stand? He said he was just wondering the same thing. My doctor, Dr. Vinny Boombaz, is not a bad guy. He gave me six months to live. But I couldn't pay my bill. So he gave me another six months. At least we are not homeless. Yesterday I ran into a homeless man. He said help me, I have not eaten in five days. I said you should force yourself. I wonder where the homeless go when they need to use the bathroom. Yeah, most businesses don't let the public use their bathrooms. I was in the bank the other day, and I had to go real bad. But they said the bathroom was for employees only. What did you do? I asked them for an application. Yesterday I took a pleasure trip. I took my mother-in-law to the airport. I know what you mean. When my wife is around I have to kiss my mother-in-law's ass. I don't even like to kiss her face. I told my mother-in-law my house is your house. So she sold it. This woman goes into an antique store and asks what's new? What have you been up to? Yesterday I ran into my priest. He said I should do to my neighbor as I do to myself. How is that working out for you? This morning I got my hand stuck in my neighbor's pants. This morning a guy was sticking his hands in my pocket. I asked him what are you doing? He said he was looking for matches. I said why don't you just ask me? He said I don't talk to strangers. Even as a teenager I got no respect. I was talking to my girl on the phone. She said come over, there's nobody home. I went right over, there was nobody home.